All right, good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this lovely Friday. I don't like Fridays because the market's not that great right now. We only got one good stock, but I'm really excited because the weekend's right around the corner. We're talking how many more days till Christmas? It's Hanukkah today. Oh, look at that. Hanukkah began on Sunday now. I forgot about that. So we got Hanukkah going on, and now we got uh, we got Christmas less than two weeks away. So hopefully you guys have been going out there and spending some of that good money you made. All right, so anyway, um, well, the reason why I started off telling you I don't like Fridays, I'm telling you, I didn't really see that much going on. But yesterday was fabulous. For, uh, uh, Thursday, I mean, Thursday was one of the, you know, like I tell you, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays are the best days to trade. Um, I finished early yesterday. We had a great Cyber Expo. Uh, we, had, uh, we had Melissa on. We had Hubert on. We had me on. So if you missed our Cyber Expo, just uh, make sure you're on our YouTube channel, like us, and uh, you'll get access to it. But we had some great presenters. And you know what's so funny? When you watch it, even if you're a student at Cyber Trade University, you'll notice, like, even when I was listening to Melissa talk, I mean, she doesn't live too far from me. She lives here in New York, too, in the city. It's like I'm talking to myself. You know, it, we trade exactly the same, you know, everything. And you know what? Like I always say to you, though, reputation is very important consistency is very important, you know, and when you hear everybody keep talking the same way, it just makes you know, like, wow, now I get it. Why their system works and doesn't work, you know, because that's what it is. We all need mentors. We all need to sample a little bit of everybody's stuff, but you definitely want to make sure if you didn't miss it, go watch that recording. But going back to what happened, um, what's going on for today. Listen, I, you know, um, the last three Fridays, um, I lost one. I made money and I broke even on the two. I was kind of, remember, I would give you the journals. So I, I'm, I'm trying not to get too crazy, especially at this time of the year, going into the end of the year. You know, it, things are going to start slowing down. More people are more worried about what's going on with the with the, with the the coronavirus, with, you know, with the vaccine. And, um, you know, you got the holidays around. What are you going to do for the holidays? I mean, like, I, I usually do Christmas in my house. My wife's trying to tone it down. I mean, I usually cook for like almost 40, 50 people. And they're all actually all... Believe it or not, family. <laughs> uh, I don't think we're going to probably be able to do it this year. I don't know what's going on. I mean, it's uh, it, it's really scary. I mean, I know family members that did Thanksgiving and they almost all of them got COVID. And, you know, I mean, it was, it was crazy. So you think it's like a myth, but it's really not. You know, so do please take it very seriously, guys. So anyway, let's go do a couple of shopping. Let's talk about what we traded yesterday. A couple of good stocks, actually. Did move some night had some nice little moves i just want to touch upon them really quick uh the one i made my most money on was this one right here which was wti wti was so easy um and i'll tell you why when you look at the chart right here it was a very inexpensive stock it was a level one stock it went up really nice and slow um i you know you could trade several thousand shares of it it's uh pretty comfortable how the stock moved up pretty nicely there and um, I got really ticked off at myself because let me just change this chart to see a little bit better. So the stock, I, I got shaken out of it. And I, I'll admit it, I was wrong. I was, you know, I made a mistake. I got shaken out of it. I had it at like 237. I sold it at like 232. I took a loss on it and I jumped back in it to like 243 again. And then you could see it went to like 256. So I did pretty well. I made back what I lost. And plus I made some more. Um, I mean, you could have traded a lot of shares of it. It was pretty easy to get out of it. But it was a really nice move uh, over the course of the day. I mean, I mean, it, you could see it even where I got out of 252 right around here. The stock, obviously, I mean, I was done right around that time. What was that, around 11 o'clock? Uh, I mean, the thing ran, ran up higher. But it's okay. Listen, you don't try to hit home runs with these stocks. You're just trying to make a day's pay. And there were a couple other ones, too. XXII, that one was in the middle of the day. That ran from $1.60 to 290 and, you know, she's moving again this morning. I'm going to put this on my B list. Okay. But uh, but that stock had a nice little push going into the close. What else that we had here? Uh, a lot of energy stocks. I mean, they were all moving. All these energy stocks. Look at this one. Not only on the day trade, but on a swing trade. So and one thing uh, one thing you'll learn about, you know, what, what Hubert was talking about yesterday and, and Melissa. Specifically, I want to cover what Melissa talked about. Melissa was pretty interesting because... You know, when way she, you know, she trades the way I trade, but she's more of a, uh, more of a, a swing, uh, uh, an overnighter. And remember, I always taught you about trading that if you want to be a good overnight trader or a, an swing trader or even an option trader, you have to learn how to day trade first. Because if you look at this stock SM, 
you could see it in the last couple of days since November. It went from two dollars, two fifty, three dollars. I mean, what does it look like now? Oh, now it looks like a swing trade. So you know, great traders never buy it at a buck fifty and sell it at six dollars. Okay, so that's where that comes about. But um, but that was actually moved pretty nicely. So and that was not only a good swing trade, but it was also a very very good day trade. Uh, BLNK, another stock that had a nice little push yesterday. So this stock, obviously, you could see had a nice push early when it popped from 26 to 28. It was a little on the volatile side. I would be a little concerned about this stock. Remember, you know, one of the biggest things that we, you know, uh, we that I really cover is not about making money. It's about controlling losses. OK, we can't tell you what to buy and sell. You got to make that choice. You know, we're in the trading room. We're working together like a team. That's what it's all about. But event, at the end of the day, you got to click that button. There's no guarantees you're going to make money in trading. OK, and, you know, getting back to talk about Hubert, I, I always get a kick out of having Hubert centers on because, I mean, obviously, when you do your homework, you see what people like, you know, and, and be careful what you see on the Internet for crying out loud. You get these people out there that are promising the world. There's no guarantee you're going to make money. And Hubert like has this big warning sign, you know, warning, you can lose all your money and everything. And you know what? He's right because most people are just ignorant and they go out there and, and no disrespect to certain people. But you know what? You got to learn how to you first have to learn how to stop losing money before you can learn how to make it. You're going to lose in the beginning. It's perfectly normal. You know, it's like saying you get married. Oh, we don't fight. We don't fight. How many people say, oh, you don't, you guys don't fight. Uh, I, don't I don't have any problems with my kids. Oh, my kids are perfect. Obviously, a person's got some delusional going on there. But in stocks, I mean, you're going to lose. It's part of the game. A baseball player is going to strike out. They don't bat a 1,000. You just got to learn from it because every time you do a trade, you learn better as you move forward. And that's really what comes down to it. Um, it's all about the discipline part. Now, regarding about this morning, listen, like I said, I, there's a, it's Friday it's not the greatest day. There were a couple of stocks that made some movers. We'll check them out in a little bit. Um, there were a couple of penny stocks I was not really a fan of. I wanted to look at. But uh, but there are some stocks that are moving. I do want to start off with this stock right here, uh, the TPGI. Now, you can see the stock has been on a huge tear, okay, a huge tear. But it's starting to trend down now. You know what I mean? The stock has obviously been an IPO. You can see a stock went from 10, um, really nice mover, but it's not really going anywhere. So I put this on the B list, um, but I want to start with the off with the A list. So we have this VTVT. It was in the morning watch list. It, it gapped up pretty nicely, up 96% on the day, but she's starting to trend down. She's starting to go lower. She's not really moving too much. So I might move her back to the B list. Um, I don't have that many A-list stocks. I mean, I thought that this would be an A-list stock. 25%, 5 million shares already in pre-market. It's kind of flatline. Not really sold on it too, you know? I mean, that's what it is. RMG, another one. I mean, this one looks a little bit better, but... Remember what we teach you in phase one. Remember the first T. The stock has really got to be careful on the category of tradable. It's got a big spread. It's got small tier sizes. Look at the level three on the right. Not really that much going on. If you don't know what that is to some of you right here, you know, we're looking at orders that are out there, you know, not really 10 shares. I mean, come on, like 500. I don't see any iceberg orders out there. You know, that kind of like turns me off. So I'm not too crazy about it. Now I'll hop on the B. I'll hop on the B list. S N O A. I mean that one took a huge uh, hit, but you know what? It's up 114 percent today. You know, up 13 dollars. Stock. I mean, this is unbelievable. But the stock got destroyed, and in one minute, boom. But it, it's a gap up. You know what I mean? This is something that's very hard to kind of like. You know, you got lucky on this one. You really, really officially got lucky on this. BTBT. We already know about that one. I already talked about that. Fat is another one. Uh, fat brands, it's gapped up. It's up by 52%. But look at that trend. The pre market has a lot to do with the direction. LXRX, another one. This one, it's not terrible. 
I mean, you could see right here, it's got a Fausto flag right here. So that one actually works out. Um, you know, it's, 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 you know, breaking a high right here. So it's, you know, it's, it's got some good volume. It's got some good, um, iceberg orders. I don't really see that many algorithms going on right now in here. So it's this one. I'm probably going to move it back on the A list. Uh, it was on the B list. PPGY, another one that, you know, like this one we already talked about. And XXII, I mean, we already talked about that one also. That was from yesterday. So it's not a huge list. And you know what? That's okay. Okay. So, I mean, listen, you did well yesterday. You did well on Wednesday. I mean, it's okay to take the day off. This is what we do. But you know what? We always find something that might move at the open. So you don't want to go anywhere. Uh, Phil just made 15 cents on LXRX. Good for you, Phil. There you go. Congratulations. He's in the cyber group room. Um, I do want to talk about something that I did a video on it. And if you go to my YouTube channel, I think some of you, and, and if you're a student of cyber trade university, you already know about this, but let's talk about short squeezes. Okay. Let's talk about short squeezes. We had some stocks this week. I mean, it was just unprecedented what they did. It was incredible, right? I want I want to start off with the SLS, all right? Look at this stock. It ran from 4 to 17. It's down 27%. Doesn't that look like a short squeeze? When they go up that fast, they come down just as quickly, okay? Let's look at another one, NBRV. Look at this stock. Uh, well, actually, this is not really a short squeeze. This one's really getting hammered. But but the reason why I was bringing this is that this one up, you can see how the stock was breaking lower lows, lower lows, and then you wake up, boom, you get crushed. If you knew how to day trade, you wouldn't fall into that. IMMP. Remember this one? $2 to 7 Look at it now. Getting crushed, okay? You ready for the best ones? The best ones. DLSI. Remember that one? $10 to 160 Look at it now. It's down to 61 You want to play around with fire? You see these things? This is what it's all about. A-Y-T-U. Here's another one. Huge jump up. Went from three all the way to about 13. Boom, it's right back down to six. So anyway, the tip of the day is this. If you have to learn how to day trade to understand what's going on with some of these stocks. And, and I want to point this out with some of you uh, for the cyber group members. This is a lesson that's being learned. You learn something every day and you got to be careful with these high flyers. You know, I, I hear people brag and how much money they make. You know what? I also want to see if they still have it today and if they're still bragging because some people they go in and which you probably the most popular one you probably heard about on TV uh, because they were talking about this forever was Kodak. Remember Kodak? A-O-D-K. <laughs> I apologize. So anyway, there you go. Look at this one. We remember this one. This was like historic stock was, I don't know, what was that? Like $2 and it ran to like 60. Okay. Honestly, the GLSY I was probably better. <laughs> that was historic. So guys, be very, very careful of today's markets. It's Friday. If you got anything to do, you know, maybe go put some Christmas lights outside, you know, um, you know, celebrate. If you celebrate Hanukkah, you know, go out and enjoy it. But there's nothing really going on. Don't get too greedy. And that's why people like this job. Because if there's nothing out there, you don't have to force it into a trade. All right. So, um, and I'm not, I'm not always a person that brags about that and talks about that. Sometimes your best trade is not to trade. All right. But when you have to trade, you buy less and trade more. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. We're starting to open. We're going to start commentary in the cyber group room in about 15 minutes. So, and it also, if you want to get to watch those videos I was talking about, like us, click us on the bottom on the YouTube and Facebook live. And we'll get, and uh, we will be going over that. Oh, and I forgot to mention one more thing um, for the cyber cyber group members. I forgot to mention um, we we're we're in the process of launching a new trading room. Uh, you're gonna have emojis. You're gonna be able to get instant text messaging. All that. Uh, we're probably gonna be rolling it out sometime next week. We've been beta testing it right now. It's a very popular, specifically done. For trading rooms, we are going to probably do a couple of webinars uh, after the market closes to kind of show you some demos of it. It's not going to be a huge change, but it's going to be a more professional look. And I think you guys are going to enjoy it. So just to give you guys a heads up, um, you know, please don't harass us about it yet. 
but just keep in mind that uh, we're in the process of launching a new professional trading room. We've been using this one for about 15 years. Uh, there's new improved ones that are out there and a lot. And that's one of the main reasons too, Jeff, because, because flash is going away. It's not a flash player. Um, so it's a little bit better and more geared towards it. So that's another reason why we're moving, moving here from, I'm not a, like, I'm an old fashioned person. I don't like change, but sometimes you have to do it. All right, guys, good luck. Be safe. And we'll be right back. And, uh, for everybody, on YouTube, Facebook live. We'll see you back here at two 30 for the close. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.